Hey everybody, I'm back out here at my Blackstone Air Fryer combo. Just look at that beam of light bouncing off the unit. So fish tacos and fish burritos. You either love them or you've never had one. Let's ignite the air fryer and turn on the air fryer fan. I've had the air fryer preheating on medium for about five minutes. I have some Gorton's frozen fish sticks that I picked up at Sam's Club the other day. I'll spread these out in both baskets. I think we have about 25 fish sticks here. Certainly not necessary, but I'll spray a little bit of the Blackstone nonstick cooking spray onto the fish sticks because that hot air and the oil are gonna create a crispy outside. Now it's time to make our sauce. Blackstone tequila lime seasoning and mayo. I'm doing this to taste, but I suggest that you mix it evenly. You want to get some nice color in there and you want to really incorporate that lime, paprika, chili powder, onion, and other flavor. I have some coleslaw mix in one of my Blackstone mocajete bowls. I also bought this at Sam's, but you can get it at any grocery store. Shredded white cabbage, red cabbage, and carrots. Some of our fish taco sauce, just like that. Give that a good mix until you get what I call a coleslaw consistency. Let's pull out the fish sticks. Absolutely perfect color. Shout out to my buddy Corey Carroll. Gonna put some of that Hawaiian sea salt on there. One of the popular questions after the last video is, are these drawers interchangeable? And yes, they are. So I'll just go ahead and combine the fish sticks and put them in the warming slot so we can get the tortillas ready. Over the last year or so, we've come to love these raw, uncooked tortillas. We like to buy them in bulk from Costco or Sam's Club. I have my 36 inch cooktop on low. Blackstone griddle spray, perfect for tortillas because we don't want the tortillas swimming in oil. We just want to achieve the most beautiful golden tortilla you've ever seen. After just 30 seconds or so, you are going to have the most gorgeous tortilla golden tortillas and you have to have a tortilla warmer if you don't have one blackstone has their own and that my friends is a beautiful sight so let's go straight to those fish sticks is anybody getting hungry yet let's plate it up one of those beautiful tortillas the cabbage carrot and sauce mixture a couple of those picture-perfect fish sticks. I think I have room for a third one right there. As of late, these have been my two favorite off-the-shelf taco sauces. I'm partial to the Verde. And just in case you're wondering, I will not forget the cilantro. Now we can wrap this thing up. We'll tuck those ingredients inside, fold the edges in, tuck and roll. Let's give it a try. Delicious. Delicious times a thousand. In the intro, I mentioned you either love fish tacos and burritos or you've never had them. Case in point, a couple years ago I was up in northwestern Nebraska and I was deer hunting with several high school buddies of mine from Pennsylvania. We saw fish tacos on a Mexican restaurant menu. Of course, I got excited and one of my friends said, fish in a taco? That's absolutely disgusting. What are you thinking? And I had to take myself back to about 20 years ago or so. First time I ever had a fish burrito at Alfonso's in Colorado Springs. I thought, fish in a burrito? That's disgusting. But folks, there, there's something else. You know, fish tacos, fish burritos, they most likely originated down in the Baja Peninsula between Mexico and California. People have been going crazy about them ever since up and down the west coast all over the southwest all the way over to New York City now my two air fryer videos from last weekend and earlier this week just insane I have been getting 24 7 questions 
questions, questions, questions. I've been getting lots of messages from people telling me they're out buying the air fryer. One person even told me he was gonna go check to see how much he could get for his blood plasma so he could afford an air fryer combo. Of course, the critiques came in as well. A lot of people pointed out that they thought the french fries that I made looked a little bit on the soggy side. And that's probably because I had to take them out. I mentioned in the video that I was dealing with the light going away and I was filming alone. So if I had left those in there another three to five minutes, they would have been very, very crispy. So keep those questions and comments coming. So Blackstone air fryer combo, getting stock in Walmart stores around the country right now. I am probably literally getting five to 10 messages an hour from people saying, I live in Connecticut and I can't find it in my store. Or I live in Tacoma and I can't find it in my store. I'm not Walmart, so be patient. I've received several messages in the last two or three days from people down in the Carolinas, Tennessee, and Georgia in particular that have actually bought the air fryer combo. So there you go. It's eventually gonna reach your neck of the woods. So thanks for watching, everybody. And until next time, this is Todd. I'm saying praise the Lord and pass the fish burrito.